This video has been put together by the RSC Wales team using freely available tools and software. The video case studies you are about to see show community and voluntary sector learners and tutors using technology to broaden and enhance their learning experience. Some residents of the YMCA in Cardiff recently took part in a digital storytelling course. We spoke to one of the learners and one of the tutors about their experiences using technology. Do you know what story you're going to tell? Yeah. Sort of like a personal story of what happened with my uh, childhood and what have you. And um, Paul, one of the uh, tutors, downloaded some of the old photos that I got when I was a child onto um, the computer and what have you. So hopefully it'll turn out okay. My, some of my brothers don't have photos that I've got of when we were children. I can they I've got some um, computers themselves. I can then p email them the pictures, which I know how to do quite easily, thankfully. <laughs> I don't like that. No, no, me. I know. Well, I kind of like it, but I'd, I'd like it further it, on. Yeah, I think. Um, but this is what I'm just saying to you, that I, you know, I know what I want to take pictures of. How have the um, learners felt about the technology that they've been using? Once we've captured the students and they've seen that there is something to their advantage, they are absolutely first rate, they really get involved, they start to learn without being aware that they're learning, which is the complete highlight, that they will come in, we will spend a day with them, which in a college would have been a formal lesson, and they go away having learned something without aware that they've actually been taught. So it's self-perpetuating. The more they learn, the more they enjoy it, and the more often they come back. Here is the storyteller we met earlier, receiving her certificate of achievement. The Deneva Stick Making Guild, a voluntary organisation in Carmarthenshire, uses video and web links to share information and knowledge about their craft. Here are some video clips from their Web Jam page. I want you to do something big and uh, stick making come along and I love every second of it. Met some fantastic people, um, very, very, very knowledgeable. Um, in all sorts of things to do with country crafts. Most of the people here have got another country craft under their belt as well, so it's brilliant. So what do you do during the time that you spend up at the, the workshop here on a Saturday? Talk a lot, have a laugh, um, and learn an awful lot. We all bring a piece of work that we're in the process of doing, and there are some very experienced stick makers here that help us out, show us where we're going wrong, put us right, um, and we just crack on. What do you think you need to on the air, um, the cooperation are in drought, and in a tea, I'm Rudri Mish, and I'm fed up with the tea, or I get a well advert at a commanding journal, but I need Finne and Gavardin. So for no other right land, I'm Kawal Sos Le, or Le and Town, and I'll say that I'll return January, Miss Yonor, and I'll say now, I may have been enjoying your wood at Aroni. We have fear toward my idea, need lot of Finn Diana with Finn Diana seeing get Susti and need Finn. Have read the word my. I see that we saw four marks land when I know my name is a troy. I think well. You want to rest on you? No. Yeah. My name is a troy, I need a fun. I got all the same as I need a fun. I think I got there only. I think well. A family learning group in Swansea have been using PDAs or palm sized computers to help them on their basic skills course. The learners said that they really enjoyed using this technology. Yeah, we've been using um, PDAs with the, with the family learning group um, which has been great. Um, they've got built in cameras um, where you can take photographs, you can record video, they've got built in voice recorders, we've been taking sound bites, recording people. Um, also got Word in here as well so they can take notes and type on here um, and then we've been using that to transfer all the information onto a laptop 
and um, been showing them through the, the projector as well. So I've been taking these out and about, um, using them in the classroom and taking them into the community as well and recording all sorts of things. And from a family learning point of view, it's been absolutely wonderful because we've managed to tie it in with an OCN unit um, in speaking and listening. Um, so all the stuff that they've been doing, Claire has put onto individual discs for them. Uh, so they have um, their units done for OCN, we hope. <laughs> and have the learners enjoyed using the technology? They've loved it. Some basic skills learners in Torvine have been getting online and using the internet and email. Here are some of them talking about their experiences. Had you ever used IT before? Never ever in my life. And how do you feel about it now? I just love it. <laughs> I just, I'm really amazed how much I've learned in the, the, the term that I've come to, and it's just amazing. I've got a computer at home, my son bought me one for Mother and Sunday, and I've just been absolutely dying to use it, and I know once it is up and running that I will be on there all the time. Well, I, I found it uh, very useful. Having a computer in the house now is uh, been useful for finding out things uh, you know, mainly concerning the internet on this course. Searching for information, which has been very good. Something that I never thought that I could do before. I thought you had to go to the library and look in the library, but now it's in my home, and I can look at, uh, bring it right up, anything I want to know. And coming to the class, it's surprising the world is my oyster now. Well, I have enjoyed the course extremely. Um, in the beginning, um, I couldn't switch on a computer before I started. Um, at 74, I felt it's about time I got computer literate. So I joined Cara's class and it's been absolutely super. I wouldn't say I'm an expert yet, <laughs> but it's been tremendous, really. I feel quite clever now. Another basic skills learner in Torbine has been using technology to help her with her course. She has been using the virtual learning environment Moodle to access extra learning activities. Um, using Moodle for the uh, English and Maths is helped a lot basically. Um, there's a lot of work on the computers. She can only give you so much paperwork you can do but there's a lot more information and activities to do on the computer. And have you enjoyed the activities that are on there? Yeah, some of them are good fun. There's games and things you can play with as well. So, it's, it's not too bad. There's a game called Einstein on Moodle, which is really, really good fun. Yeah. And have the learners enjoyed using Moodle? Yes, a lot of them have taken to it very well. Um, if they've got internet access at home, then obviously they can use it at any time. Those who haven't, they can access the libraries and they can use the internet for free there. Some, some of them do. This lace making class is based in Swansea. The learners have been using an online forum to keep in touch, share information and post photographs of their work. Well I find that if you're unable to go to class for any reason and you come up against a problem then you can get online, you can ask and sometimes somebody comes back to you pretty quickly with a solution. Other than that you might be running out of threads and you might want to find out where you can get more from and you can get addresses, email addresses and such like and uh, you can buy, buy your things online. I started off tatting and tatting is still my favourite. I find the lace, now that I'm nearly 90, I find the work a bit fine. So I'm going back to tatting very soon. Jeanette gives us messages on the, on the computer and we log in and see what she has to tell us and of course I can log into Tata's world which I find very interesting. So we did start the forum up and it's taken sort of a year to get everybody on board and even some of the students have actually taken some IT class this year because they want to get involved. So it's, it's, you know, been beneficial for other classes as well. And what sort of thing have you been putting onto the forum? 
Well, if students have, well, this recently, one of our students won a prize, first prize cup in for her lace making, so that's just gone on the blog. And we've put any news if somebody's become, you know, a great grandmother or anything that I put down, if there are any local lace days or suppliers days that are around, that they've got the information, any exhibitions. So would you say this is just limited to lace making? Or would no, you I don't think so, because the cra any craft or anything could be applied, because it's exchanging ideas, meeting people with who are like-minded, with the same interests, and linking up. It, it can be for any anything that we teach, really. It's not, it's not a limited to lace making or could be so stitching or woodwork or anything, you know, anything at all. You have seen that many learners and tutors in adult community and voluntary sector learning in Wales are using technology in a range of innovative ways. All the participants in this video were keen to record their experiences. They wanted to share their enthusiasm and enjoyment with other community learners and tutors in Wales.